Hey there, review. Today is Wednesday, March 21st. And we are on a day six schedule. Attention seniors, the last senior t-shirt day will be held on Tuesday, March 27th. The 18 yearbook picture will be taken on this date. Procrastinators beware, the end is near. Saturday, March 31st is the final day to purchase your 2017-2018 RHS yearbook. There will be no extensions and we do not order extras. So don't miss out. Go to the district website and click on the link to order. The link is also available on several posters throughout the building. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Hustleton in room 214. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Scholarship Application. The applicant must show financial need and scholastic ability. The deadline is May 4th, 2018. If you're looking for any summer school camps or volunteer opportunities, please stop by the guidance office for our current list. Hello, Riverview. Happy Wednesday. I'm assuming this is going on on Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Uh, just a couple quick updates from your principals here this afternoon. It is spring, and we are all getting a little anxious, even though there's snow on the ground right now. We are getting a little anxious for the end of the year. We tend to get a little bit excited, but let's keep our hands to ourselves. High fives and handshakes only is what we'd like to see. If you are, remember, we want to remind you about late, being late to school. It is Pennsylvania law. It's not Mr. Hewitt's law and Mr. English's law and your teacher's law. It is Pennsylvania law that you arrive to school on time every day. If you're coming in late, you must have an excuse. The excuse must be legitimate. It can't be because I slept in. There has to be a legitimate excuse. Even if you bring in a whole bunch of legitimate excuses, we're still going to have a meeting with you and your parents to discuss why all those legitimate excuses continue to happen, requiring you to come to school late. You must be here. You must be here on time. If you come in late and you do not have a valid excuse, you must sign in in the late sheet so that we, so that we can document that. And then you must sign the detention book, detention book and late sheet. If you just come in the late sheet and you blow off the detention book, you're going to get suspended for insubordination. So late sheet, detention book. Show up to your detention. If it is your responsibility to remember to go to detention. If you do not go to detention, that's insubordinate and you will be in suspension. Suspension is not a good thing. Suspension goes on your record. We have to send your record to colleges and to employers when you leave here. It is not a good thing to compile suspensions. So fall into line, do what you need to do. It is your job to wake up on time, get a nice breakfast, and get here for your first period class. All right, quick safety update. Uh, last week we had our sit-in, about 130 students came. I don't want to say it was a wonderful experience. I think it was a very positive thing. We got a lot of great feedback from the students, so thank you very much. Some of that feedback I presented to the school board last night. They were very appreciative. They were also very impressed. I told them what a great job that you guys did. And so we're going to see some minor changes coming forward. Some of those were in the drills, easy things that we can do. Uh, we've got some more fire drills coming up. Be ready for some curveballs, possibly, so we can create some different situations and practice a little bit better. Overall, we've been doing a very good job with our drills. I'd like to keep that up. Remember, quiet, single file when we have to evacuate the building. We want to practice like we would play, and we want to practice well, so if it ever has to happen for real and there is a fire and the fire department comes, we want to make sure that we're doing it the right way. So we've been doing a great job. We're going to continue with that. One other safety update, the water fountain downstairs outside the locker rooms, outside the guidance, junior high guidance suite is broken, which is why the partition is in front of it. Do not drink it. Do not drink from it. Do not plug it in. Do not turn it on until it is repaired, and we'll let you know when it's safe to go on that. Thank you. I'm going to piggyback safety issues, and we're going to talk about the buses. First, late bus. You cannot ride the late bus without a pass to ride the late bus. Let me repeat that. You cannot ride the late bus without a late bus pass. They are green. You will not be able to get on the late bus without it. If you do not have the pass, you're walking home. Second, if you are riding the bus to and from school, there's a couple things that we want you to remember to do. First, you cannot, for any reason, stand 
or kneel on the bus seats. That is extremely dangerous and against the law. If the bus were, God forbid, get into an accident, you would be seriously injured or dead, and we can't have that. So we're going to be looking consistently on the bus videos. You have to sit down, try to keep the noise to a reasonable level, and be safe. We want you to get home safely and in one piece. You need to sit behind those tall seats so that if something does happen, you have the padding and the cushion of the seat in front of you. Please keep that in mind. When we look at the videos, there's too much kneeling. There's people wa walking in the aisles. If we find that you're doing that, we will suspend you from riding the bus. Riding the bus is a privilege, not a right. We can suspend you for any length of period of time if you can't seem to handle basic safety rules on the bus. So please keep that in mind. We are gonna be going onto the buses, we are gonna be watching videos on the buses, and we need students to be safe, safety first. Yeah, that's an easy one. You're on the bus for five minutes maybe. It's also very distracting to the bus driver, also increasing the risk of an accident. So uh, use your head on the bus. All right, so a little bit of good news. On Thursday, Thursday morning, we are going to have an assembly to honor one of our own. Uh, we've got a Riverview student that's going to be receiving a very prestigious award. So when we get to school on Thursday, instead of reporting the first period, at 740, we will all be in the gym, grades 7 through 12, and we'll hold a quick awards assembly for this student. Don't want to give that away yet. A little bit more of a surprise. And also, please, students, 7 through 12, be checking your school email. I've been sending out messages recently, including in instructions on how to get in to the home access center as you can see your grades we still got students coming to the office and guidance saying that they don't know what their grades are uh, we sent those out more than two weeks ago so please check your email there's some messages in there for you and i've been using it at least once a week to send some stuff out so we're also going to be email. using your student email for Navian, so it's very important to check your student email finally we want to leave on a positive note we have a lot of uh students participating in spring activities and sports um, those things are already up and running. We're happy that our students are so active and involved in things. Please, if you're not involved, go support your fellow classmates. Go to some games. We have some great um, activities coming up in the spring. We got our spring baseball game and a lot of end of the year things coming up. The weather should be getting warmer and it should be a nice end of the year, at least for the nice last nine weeks. Support your spring sport teams and, and get out there and Without further ado, we'll see you in Main Street. See you on Main Street. Well, that's all our news and announcements review. I'm Will. And I'm Shoop. Don't forget to stand for the pledge. And have a great day.